Hello again, Rich Gray alongside Bob Kemp as the red and white practice, can't call it a scrimmage anymore, the red and white practice so sure. concluded here at University of Phoenix Stadium and uh, in front of 17,500 fans uh, seem to enjoy themselves. Uh, what did you take away from the red and white practice? Well, first of all, uh, you got the 17-5. I recall the most I remember in Flagstaff was 13, mm -hmm. so you know, it's certainly a little more of a pool to draw from in the community here. but. Uh, so I think they're pretty happy with that. Uh, actually, you know, I thought it was a pretty uneventful event. I mean, yesterday, um, uh, there was a lot more going on yesterday afternoon, a lot more of the ones. And, uh, of the eight days of practice, I guess it's one of the ones that not much happening, but uh, uh, as far as just action goes. What if, uh, you mentioned the, the running backs uh, kind of caught your down eye, not to, in a good yeah, way. No, they're down to three guys. I mean, they only had five to begin with. Rashard Mendenhall did not uh, practice yesterday or today. He has patella tendonitis in his knee, the one that had surgery. Uh, he says he'll be back on Monday. He says it was just a precaution. Uh, on the other hand, Ryan Williams now has gone to get uh, ahead another procedure, whatever that might be, and he was on crutches here this afternoon. He hasn't practiced in now one full week since he, uh, very early last Sunday in the first day that they were in pads, walked off. and. Uh, he hasn't played since then, so uh, they're down to three guys. I wouldn't be surprised if they bring in somebody just to be a camp body. Uh, Stephen Taylor, you know, my, or Stephon Taylor, excuse me, I remember. Yeah, from Stanford. He, remember, you can only do the, uh, you can only participate in the first week of the off season because of the graduation rule. Right. Well, they're making up for it now. He was running with the ones and the twos today, so that's how thin they are running back right now. And we mentioned earlier, it's the Cardinals and Arians, they've been very big with this whole Ryan Williams entry. Yeah, they are. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, a bit troublesome. I, yeah, I don't think there's any chance he plays in Green Bay. And ironically, that's where he suffered the knee injury in preseason two years ago. So we'll see uh, how, this, uh, how this goes. Also, one other injury today, uh, Kerry Taylor, uh, ASU alum, had worked his way up to the fourth receiver uh, yesterday and early today, but he left the uh, practice this afternoon. Uh, I, I'm not sure what happened. He didn't, wasn't like noticeably limping or anything, but he walked off with a with the trainer and he never came back. So uh, we'll find out about that, I'm sure, on Monday morning. Some good news though from the offense is we, we saw it all throughout the week and Arians talked about it more, incorporating Patrick Peterson says he's already got about 10, 15 plays for Patrick Peters. They do. Now, that's not like per game. I mean, that's how many plays they have in a certain, you know, the package of plays for him. And like, most likely, it'll only be like a half dozen or, or plays per game. And that would depend on also how much the defense is on the field. They're not going to, you know, have him right. on the field for a 12-play drive and then throw him into the offense and mix right away. So uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of variables there. but. Yeah, we've seen him throw the ball, we've seen him run the ball out of a running back position, a uh, you know, wing back or whatever you like to call that, reverse, and catch passes, obviously. So, uh, you yeah, know, they're, they're definitely, uh, this isn't just some gimmick. The Cardinals, they have three practices. They're off tomorrow. They're back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, before you mentioned first preseason game against the Packers. All right, that'll be, on, that'll be on Friday, and, uh, you yeah, know, they're out of here on uh, Thursday morning for that. But, uh, yeah, interesting uh, first eight days as far as uh, just structure and uh, whatever you know, if people with the Flagstaff in the past and haven't been out here yet, the, uh, not just obviously the setting different, but just the entire practice structure is uh, much different, not just from Wizard Hunt, but even from Denny Green. There, there were some similarities between the Wizard Hunt and Denny Green practices. One thing that has been remained the same, the constant chance of Larry, Larry, Larry. Seems to be a popular dude. <laughs> he, he does. Yeah. For Bob Camp, I'm Rich Gray. This has been another Cardinals Camp video blog on NBC Sports Radio AM 1060. I'll be back out from camp on Monday, and we'll have another report up on the website. Until then, keep checking out BobCampBottomLine.com and more of the Sports Perfect Zone. Perfect compliment to the Sports Zone. There you go. More Might of the Sports that. Zone. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 is that trademarked yet? Life in general, too. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again on Monday.